So, hello everybody, and welcome to a new stream for Poker Quest. Well, it's the very first time that I'm playing this. I just finished the tutorial, so I'm familiar with this kind of game. I'm familiar with the rules of poker, so what can possibly go wrong? So, what do we have here? So, classic mode and upgrades mode. Well, it's pretty uh, difficult decision by upgrades between runs. Runs get easier. Well, we're going to start out with that, and uh, then we're going to start the classic run for once. We'll see about that. Right now, I don't have any points, so it doesn't really matter. So let's get started. I was quite excited to see... Whoa, is that... Yeah. I was quite excited to see that this game was now on full release. Just realized that... Uh, sorry about the sound settings. I didn't mean to blow the music into your ears like that. Here we go. So, it's a full release. We have a pretty classic gameplay uh, scenario. Choose your path, kill monsters, but poker style. So, I'm really interested in seeing how that'll play out in the long run. The tutorial was already fun. I rarely say that about a tutorial, so let's see where this will lead us. Okay. So, elite battle, a regular battle, and another regular battle. What are these gems good for? Ah, we can use them to draw cards. Chips, I do know I need for the upgrades. I really don't know. So, Bethlaria, welcome. How's it going? Well, pretty decent. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing fine yourself. So we're going to pick up the... Uh, oh, I can't check out the enemies there. So charge. Unlock 100. Attack 46. Lock 100. All right. So that means this guy... Yeah, I can see how that works. Three cards straight, two cards straight, three, three cards. Okay. And the elite battle is triggering on pairs. Yeah, well, whatever. We're going to go for the elite battle. Big balls. Why not? So, let's see, I think the camera needs to sit somewhere else. And now I think we're a little too low with the music. So. Sorry for this uh, fidgeting around. I think it was such just the... Yeah, the SFX was too loud, not the music. That blaring thing was the... Was the uh, that all right so the enemy comes with two pairs can that does that mean he can't attack two times i don't know we're going to stun that dude and uh, give him 10 damage so there's going to be one attack for 22 random sword oh okay can't do different sorting styles there okay so that's pretty crappy so let's stun that dude one more time i don't know if i'm i, I think i'm using my energy a little bit uh a little bit wasteful here but uh let's tank one blow i still don't know if my hp are being recovered between fights or not but in this scenario going full-on attack mode is way better than trying to uh defend myself so rules wise we use those cards to uh, to trigger those effects the knight has the knight's sword so basically the the numerical value of the cards is uh, added into attack or it can block there too so we're going to kill off that dude i bet the damage sticks otherwise it would be really too easy so let's go for one extra card to be drawn and uh i think that's a pretty powerful thing so Eratos? Oh yeah, I had a jolly good time with that one too. It's a pretty cool game. So, what did we get there? A Toxic Dirk. Any cards adding to at least five? Yeah, sure. Why not? A Knight with a Toxic Dagger. Or weirder things. Okay, so we got a Wild Horse here. So, that's a pretty easy fight. Yeah, those wounds stay stick, just like I thought. Food. You eat one food each world map move you make. If you have no food, you are starving. And instead you will lose 10 HP and 2 energy each map move. You may eat one 
food to gain health. You cannot eat during combat. All right, so I can use that either as a uh, mobility thing or as something to heal myself with. Great. So poison damage is poison over time. So we're going to use now 12 damage of that for a direct attack and this other thing for toxic dark. Now we're talking business. The Angry Stallion works like that. You always see how many cards he has. There's a little bit of a number there. And the last card is uh, is a hidden one. So as long as this uh, number is below 30, I don't need to defend myself in the least little bit. Ah, I can only insert up to two cards in there. I see. Well, whatever. We're going to do this like that. There's no reason to do this differently. Alrighty, so, buy upgrades, what can we do here? Map side range, gem draw. Mm -hmm. So, well, <clears throat> not sure. Let's pick up the range and see what that'll bring. Ah, I can see further there. Okay. The castle of hearts. So, the elite bloop. One card, rank 10 or higher. Protect 18, reusable. Alright. As long as this guy has cards that are 10 or higher, he can keep whacking me. It's pretty brutal. So, unlock 30. Okay. So, every 30 uh, <laughs> cards of the die will attack me for 26. It's quite a lot. But I can use energy to stun him out. So, let's heal ourselves a bit. Oh, I can do that only once per field, I see. Interesting. So, we have here equipment stuff. Oh yeah, item slots. I should probably save my chips for that. Let's go. So... That's 20 damage. Can't say no to 20 damage. Alright, so... Lock 16. Let's see. Oh, that's a great turn. So we can deal 19 damage there. Slap some poison on top of that. And now we get in a hitbutt because I didn't pay attention. All right. So far, so fun. There we go. Simple enough. Okay, a pile of four chips. I'll take that. Cool. So far, I am enjoying this way more than I expected to. So I bet the shop is giving me an opportunity to spend chips. I don't have that. Blackjack. So whenever we got a... Uh, needs two cards. And an ace. So that's Blackjack, right? Two tens and an ace. Yeah, that makes sense. So... Alright. We need one card like that. So, if one of these cards is an ace, he can whack me quite hard. If not, then not. So, since I got myself a pretty decent move here on my hands, I'm just going to stun that fella and, uh, let's see. I don't want to consume any gems at that point. So far, I really, really do enjoy how this is, uh, stringed together. So... Here it is risk-taking, but we'll take that risk for once. There's no ace, so I'm not getting attacked there. So... There we go, 33 damage. Let's see, does this guy... Uh, does the poison get applied? Yeah, well, the poison... That was a risky gambit there. I could have gotten whacked in the face quite hard for a man. But, well, I'm new here. I'm allowed to, uh, to do sucky things. Restore 15% of your maximum life, refill a consumable, and hunt for food if you need to. Cool. Let's do this. So we can rest here. We can hunt for energy to transform that into food. So can I do these all of these things? Yes, I can do all of these things. Great. So. Okay. A phoenix, revive after death, and flame all. When flamed items deal damage when they are used. Alright. And flame all when hit. Yuck. Versus fighting a goblin. 
So on a four card straight, the sky can attack, and on a three card straight, he can attack. Cool. <laughs> so this is uh, this is really fun, uh, way more fun than I expected it to be. So there is a. Uh, I think if we sort them by rank, we have a good opportunity. So here, this guy just needs to draw one queen and one... Well, he can only go for the claw attack, but not the bigger thing. So I'm going to block that because I'm a little bit afraid. Let's see if I'm going to regret that. I'm going... Whatever. So here he already has a three card straight on his hand. I misplayed that horribly, didn't I? Typical. Noob moves. That's okay. We get it. So here he'd only require to draw 110 and get even a four card straight out of that. So if this card is a 10, I'm screwed. If not, everything's good. But because it's that's only a uh, relatively low chance, I'm going to take that risk. So double nine didn't get it anywhere. That's pretty cool. That's really, really cool. I like that. So here, if the last card is a five, we're going to get a whack there. Let's put on the poison again. I'm a big fan of poison, so there was one straight happening. Too bad. There goes my chance of a perfect fight. Too bad. Okay, so I thought items would be easier obtainable. I was wrong about that, I guess. So... Energy for food is a thing. Okay. Castle Hearts. Okay. I thought this was a boss fight of sorts. Alright. Pay the wizard to gain energy. Okay. Upgrade one of your items for its standard upgrade cost. All right. I'll see what that gets. Oh, several upgrade levels. Damn. This game is getting me... Uh, it's making me happy here. So, what's the, what's the deal between the upgraded and the non-upgraded version here? Doesn't really show me any big difference. Ah, we only we have to upgrade it twice to see something good there. Hey, Ash, welcome. Thanks for passing by, nevertheless. It's always a pleasure. Hope you're having a nice day so far. Alright, so uh, upgrading any of these items is not really a thing. Let's see the shop. Ooh, boys. No card cost. Draw zero. Rising by one. Increasing each turn if not activated. I see. All right, that's fun. Gotta go eat and take a Oh yeah, boy. Exams they suck, man. I hope you're getting uh, through this as quick as possible. Good luck with that. Hey, Yuki, welcome. Yes, yeah, Cyril remained dead. Don't worry, I'm getting back to that one day. <laughs> Sight though. Oh, this transforms two threes and fours into direct damage. That's also pretty, uh, pretty appealing. I also could go for something uh, that gives me caught draw. All right, we can also buy food here, and that's consumables. I see. What do I think of poker quests so far? Given the fact that I'm only playing twenty minutes, there's not much that I can say on a uh, more proficient level, but uh, on a subjective level. Boy, it's fun. I'm totally surprised about how fun it is. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's pick up that crossbow. So, the inn. <laughs> yeah, I didn't leave enough money there. So... I'm too afraid to go for these super dangerous enemies. So, Harpy. Draw one card when hit. Or card flush. So, uh, yeah. That's the same suit things. Alright, 142 HP, that's quite a lot. Stun, and it has a cooldown. Three cards, rank queen or higher. Rank 10 or higher. Yeah, well, we're. 
we're going to go for an easy run and see how far it'll get there. So, oh gosh, that's a lot of punishment there incoming. I don't think, I don't think I might myself being able to do anything there, so let's just, uh, let's just keep whacking and stun that thing for once. I do like the uh, lots of different uh, options the game gives, like, there are so many ways to work with your cards there, I really enjoy that. There we go. I feel like this game could be really, really something special here on the market. So here we have the uh, everything it needs to, to whack us. I'm going to use my block though, because you know, that's what we got the block for. Go. Twag. And I win. Okay. We get in there. We get in there. Things are getting better. I really would love to increase the amount of cards I draw, but uh, one thing at a time, I'd say. Temple of Kings. Pay five. King's gain plus five. Holy crap, I want that. So, uh, yes, yes, my King's cards are now five points more valuable. That's pretty sick. Buy some overpriced food. Well, I don't really have any money there. But on the other hand, it's money spending either way. So, uh, well, we can eat. We can buy one piece of food. I'm pretty hard running out of food here. I think I, uh, I was a little bit too generous on that uh, end. Toxic Mechanoid. 35, 20, draw one card, visible. Alright. That dude's looking scary. You spot something shiny. Yeah, well, I kind of pick it up because I didn't draw enough cards or didn't use the gems enough. I'm low on food. That's scary, man. So you can always go for fuel. So. Okay. Let's definitely use them gems because, you know... Oh, oh, wait a sec, I'm so stupid. That was the wrong turn for that. Doesn't get us anywhere. Whoopsie daisy. Damn. So, well... I'll, I'll take that as beginner's mistakes. So now we get the get whacked by that rusty tool thing. I don't want that. I don't want to be poisoned, so well the other hand. Ah, whatever. Let's give him one stun. Good chance that I'm going to uh take down that fella in the next turn anyways. So let's draw some cards, why not? Don't know. Well, I think that was not that was not really uh, getting me anywhere. But uh, he's still dying before I suffer damage. But that card draw was unnecessary. I didn't benefit from that at all. So here I'd get some food as a reward, and here I'd get some, uh, yeah, well, some random item. So, a nearsighted cleric. You can abuse her to heal you. I like that. So, uh... Well, crazy crops. I know what you're talking about, but this is, uh... This is not the place for a bad. You can feel free to join the Discord. We have a, uh, we have a section for things like that. <laughs> Alright. So, jokes aside, there's uh, a high danger whenever a card with hearts shows up on her side. If not, the situation is absolutely uh, non-dangerous. Non Come on, let's use those gems a little bit more. I have so many of them. We can... We can give that some... Oh, damn, I didn't want to. It's two points of damage. It's not that much of a big deal. So, here's one card with hearts, so there's a technical... Technically, there's a chance of getting attacked. Now, practically, I'll take the risk. 
So there we go. The thing is, I'm getting uh, so much heal from her side that... Uh, Does that mean I even gain maximum HP? That sounds sick, dude. Alright. So, all in all, I do notice that I'm playing a beginner character. I, I really do. But that ain't a bad thing at all. So, let's see. The, the shop. Yes, give me food. I'm a hungry adventurer. As much as I'd love to uh, do other things at your store, my man. It ain't happening. Hill Giant. There's pretty low reward for that. Okay, it's a pretty easy fighter there too. So, any cards adding to at least fifty. So he has he has a pretty high uh, high hand size. So that's how that's supposed to work. I see. So here we have a uh, a chance of getting whacked. So. Instead of taking any risks, I'm just going to take the block. I was right about that. So this is nearly a guaranteed attack. There's, uh... I'm just going to block that dude there. Uh, or stun him. That's not... That's not a necessary at all to, to get myself through that. Right on. So here, well, the risk is not as high as the last time. But it's still there. Nevertheless, I think uh, taking one blow would be would be not the end of the world there. So here, well, we're gonna block. I don't necessarily lose that much, and I have the I have the right hunch about that. So here, this is so uh, well. Absolutely no chance of uh, avoiding that. I have no blocks available. Could now only try to finish him off. Let's try that. So, can I draw several times? Yes, I can. Great. So, that would be 19 damage. That's not enough yet. Ah, that's better. So that'd be 30 damage. That what that's what I needed. I didn't want to take any unnecessary damage at that point. If it's for once that easy to uh, to avoid all the damage. Seriously, let's do this. Um, yeah, well, no thanks. Boss battle. Right on, Sergeant Toad. So, four red cards, there's a, uh, this is almost a guaranteed attack there, so, let's stun him right away. I don't want to take any uh, unnecessary risk of getting it whacked like that, ooh, alright, whatever, we don't really uh, get anything better than that together, eh? That's where the side bow comes in super handy. Allowing me to transmute all those useless cards. So, here... Well... Very high chance, yet again, to... Uh, get a lot of damage in my face. I'll stun while I can, you know. As soon as it ain't possible anymore, I'll stop doing that. But while it's a uh, feasible approach, let's do that. So here, this is the turn where I'm like, uh, I'm okay with not uh, taking that, because, yeah. So here is a very high chance that uh, this dude is going to be harvesting some huge amount of block. So now there's uh, that happening. Well, whatever. Let's do this. So there's more block incoming, and here, well, that's pretty much a guaranteed whack in the face. But, uh, well, we'll just uh, avoid that. Yeah, it was 
it was four red cards there. It's pretty nice that you get to see whether or not you uh, you took that uh, meaningful or not. That's pretty cool. Okay, so far so good. Looks like we're winning this, but uh, it's the very first boss fight, so let's not get ahead of ourselves there. Already damn excited to see um, what kind of uh, new combos and uh, things the other character classes have. So, I win. Nice. So, uh... Alright, I reached world 120. Mm -hmm. You win. Um, end the run and claim victory. You will unlock rogue. Or raise the stakes in the journey onward hotter. Now we're, we're going to we're going to claim more victory there and unlock the rogue. Because I I feel like uh, you know next unlock mage. That was a good op opportunity to change it, to to try that. So. Uh, yeah, so the more XP I get, the more of these upgrades I can take there. And uh, let's see. Let's try out Classic Mode. You gain stars for achieving victories. Classic Mode awards gold stars. So, let's see. The Rogue has a different active skill. You may spend 3 energy during your turn in combat to steal a card of your choice. Cool. So we get a uh, two card straight. Well, that's pretty easily achievable. Attack times two cooldown. Double attack if the cards are hearts. One card transformed directly into damage. Enemy gains vulnerable. That's a consumable. All right. Cool. So. I'm not a big fan of this uh, other mode because I I feel like the more permanent upgrades you get, the uh, other things uh, get easier and I don't necessarily want that and I want to try out the diff difference there. So start with your regular items plus 25 chips in a bottle shop, lots of casinos. Choose a different hero, no, well, we're going to go for a bad, why not? So let's see. We're going to increase the amount of cards drawn here right away because I find that extremely useful. So, oh crap, I did misread that completely. All right, I need to abandon that run. Okay, we're here for the run. So you guys mean that I have to buy my stuff if I do that modifier, All right? So now we have uh, just standard beginning. Okay, I, I totally derped on that. What ifs? So the dealer, Berserker, Toxic Machinoid, we already had that one, versus a pile of chips. There's a giant rat up there and, uh, all right. So things with food would be pretty good, actually. So let's go for the Berserker. So, attack happens with three red cards, and if he gets straight, he's attacking too. So the thing is quite simple, there's uh, really not much we can do to avoid that attack. I don't have these things, except for... Wait a sec, uh... You could go there and uh, steal that card from him. So with the stealing with the stealing ability I can create straights easier too. It's another thing I realize and uh, well I don't have any straights here available so it doesn't work. But I actually uh, stopped him from attacking me there. Isn't that nice? So that's already a three card straight. 
Too bad. I want that. Okay. Well, okay. Plus 8 attack damage. Oh, he's, uh, I see. That's how this guy is working. So luckily we didn't get a whack there. I really need more, um, I really do need more cards. Oh, I can't use gems at this point, eh? So we're going to, uh, there we go. Ah, it works too. So I really need more uh, drawn cards. That's darn important. Without that, we're not going to get anywhere here. Especially for this character, I think he really thrives on uh, on extra cards a lot. Right on. So uh, we got that. Well, next up is a bear. So. Cool, we're already getting mauled there, but uh, the, the fun thing is we're uh, just going to steal ourselves that king. That makes a straight. That's a big fat blow. We take that knife and stick it into the bear as well, and uh, yeah, backstab, I'd say. <laughs> oh boy, I was effective. <laughs> All right. So, one-eyed giant, blink, blinks and the hero, no effect. So, uh, this guy is going to be harmless as long as his cards are higher than uh, 16. Okay, well, let's try that. What do I have to lose besides my dignity and my life? So, uh... Oh, he's, a per he's absolutely uh, foreseeable. Bam! Jeez, that's so darn powerful. Holy moly. So, uh, well. My knife is on cooldown, so we have to steal something from the... from the giant. Oh! I, I, oh, okay, an ace is, uh, whatever. I'll get that. <laughs> There's just an overwhelming amount of things there. So, gem draw. Oh, upgrading the amount of cards when you pull, when you use a gem. Ah, oh, it's also quite tasty. This, uh, this, uh, artifact will be called Burn Toxin. So, wow, let's do this. Dream Sprout. No card cost. Hex. When used, hexed items will give cards from the owner's hand to the opponent. Alright, she can do that always. On a three card flush. And on for Alright, so. The real nasty part about this boss is that, uh. She's. Wait a sec. Why doesn't that work on out? Ah, yeah, ten and queen, duh. But we could actually steal that here. So we can go for a big, nice whack at the beginning. That's the best that I can do. So the item is now hexed. So it will now give the enemy a card. Yeah, whatever. You do you. Oh, crap. So, that's what's happening, but that was uh, not necessarily because of me, but we can here easily just uh, steal one card away and the threat is gone. Good old! So, uh, yeah, well. That's a pretty, uh, pretty lovely way of... Uh, well, I do like how this game operates altogether. You know? I feel like this is some jolly good fun. So my items are now both hexed. Well, could it be worse? I mean, here I have a straight that would be attack for a 10. It's really not much. I 
I don't wanna. Ow! You crazy. You crazy little sprout. So, uh, attack for 38, that sounds like a decent thing to do. That whole hexing thing is quite nasty, because it means that, uh, the more valuable the cards on my hand, the more likely it'll be that something like that happens. This is a pretty, pretty nasty fight. Holy crap, is that nasty. I like it. So, I might be actually losing to that, because I totally underestimated the threat of that. But, uh... I'll take that. If it happens, I have deserved it. So this is one of those wonderful enemies that uh, don't do much most of the time, but uh, the mechanic of this boss is woven in a way that it can totally uh, ruin your day entirely. Here, another heal. Wow. What an annoying P.O.S. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, well. Alright. Be like I'm not ready for the rogue yet. It's another thing that I do realize, but maybe we can, we can salvage it nevertheless. So. The most annoying part about this boss is that healing portion, honestly. There we go. But altogether, what's fairly noticeable is the fact that the damage portion doesn't come together too often here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I expected. The game, the, the fight took way too long, so that was my own, uh, my own fault there. But I do like that. I do like what this game does to me, so let's retry that one more time. I can do better. I certainly can do better, so... Gremlin, steal food, drop was one, run away with the food. Yeah, alright, so uh, let's try that dude out. Holy moly, that's a uh, very, very high chance of getting mugged here by, uh, with, from that dude. At the same time, there's a decently high chance of uh, stabbing him because he's darn uh, squishy. So... A pile of one chip. How to call that even a pile? <laughs> so, Mr. Giant, I'm uh, totally not okay with what's happening there. I'll take your king card. There we go. That's better. He'll wake up once he has a total amount of 30... Um, power on his uh, hand, and I don't want that. So I'm pilfering his cards to make him sleep longer. Okay. There we go. It's 29 again. That's a guaranteed awakening. But, uh, well, I'll just... Uh, I'll just take that uh, Jake over here and... Uh, Let's just do a stab. Stab and smack. Alright. Glutton Maul. Eat. Hero loses food. Alright. Burst. Attack. Dies. Hero gains food. Hey, Hyorin. Well, it's basically a, uh, a roguelike deck builder working on rules of poker. So, uh, most enemy skills are derived on poker rules. My item skills are derived off of poker rules often. So, for example, my, my dagger here is only uh, procking if I, if I put up cards as a straight, 
So 9 and 10 form, form a straight, and then it does a lot of damage due to that. This is a pretty cool uh, mechanic altogether, and uh, I gotta say, I was following this title a while, and it has been freshly released from Early Access into full. And uh, what can I say? I'm way more entertained than I actually anticipated that I'd be. That's always a good thing. Angry Boar. So a straight leads to an attack. Or straights are bad. And every enemy has a different draw pattern. Sometimes you see the entire hand of the enemy. Sometimes you only see a portion of their hand. Sometimes they have more cards. Sometimes they have less cards. The permutators are excellent. Like uh, there's uh, just so much variety due to that. So my rogue can steal cards. I like that eight because it forms a straight. So the rogue's power is to grab cards as he sees fit. And this also gives me the ability to uh, power up my own moves. So I'll take that two cards straight, that's okay for me. That's just nine damage. Totally okay with that. So uh, under these circumstances though, I'll take the seven off of him. My shank of hearts was on cooldown, so I wasn't too interested. But if I can't backstab that fellow one more time, I'll gladly take the opportunity. So. Oh, great. Nice to hear. I think this game has a substantial bonus compared to other games in this genre because it's uh, addic it's, uh, it's attachment to uh, poker. Because a lot of people are actually really, uh, um, you know, open towards the entire um, poker genre. So enhanced clubs. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Or is that really worth it? We can't go for an Errant Ghost here. Only powerful if it draws a lot of black cards. Well, nah, I want that. Power up every card's um, clubs. I, I think that's a great idea. So, Elite Battle, Giant Rat. Every time it has a pair, it'll attack. Well, since I can't steal cards, I want to take my luck on that. So, uh, let's see, there's, oh, the pairs are even totally visible on his hand, great. So that's actually quite easy. Oh, crap, I should have played that one because it's enhanced, dude. Well, alright, so that didn't go out too well. Do we have any straights here? Yeah, here. Just want to use that. This card has an innate cooldown, so... It's really uh, worth it to uh, to use it whenever it comes off of cooldown. So far, so lucky. Well, yeah, let's do that. Whatever. Rather take 32 damage when they come up instead of not taking them. Yo, dude, that's my card, so you don't hit me. I do like the rogues interactions. They are quite fun. So there's another pair coming up, sadly. So I'll now either spend gems to, to draw more cards or spend energy to steal the, the thing that makes the pair. The thing here is I'd, uh, well, let's try that. Yeah, here we go. If I'd get a, uh, if I'd get a uh, straight together, I knew that I was able to just blast that thing away. Great. So, uh, I'll upgrade my gem draw. This upgrade, this powers up the gems so tremendously, I like that. So, pay the wizard to gain more energy. I don't know. I really want that. Well, there's a horned boar up ahead. Lightning rat. Lightning 36. So, <laughs> deals random damage. Awesome. So, uh, well... Yeah, let's, let's take the... Is that really worth it? Yeah, I'd say so. I'll take some energy there from this dude. And I'll limit, I'll increase my limit too. Who knows how handy that'll come in. One thing's for sure, the rogue really uh, thrives off of his ability to steal cards from the enemy. And therefore, I really think it's uh, pretty much worth it. So, here we get a 36 attack in our face. 
Good God. It's quite a lot, man. Oh yeah, I got the vulnerability item. I'm such a numbnut. Damn. Of course, of course. So, uh... Let's use a scroll of vulnerability on that dude. So all the damage we inflict this turn is increased. I don't want to get smacked by that. I just don't. Yeah, two card straights aren't that hard to get. I really think that this game is uh, very some, something very, very special on that market. Because it has a uh, lot of uh, freshness to itself, you know? So we can upgrade our card. This will... Oh yeah. Please. I mean, that whole upgrading uh, thing is also very, very cool. You basically... I basically never know what to spend my, uh, my my chips for first, and that's uh, that's outright amazing, you know. That's uh, nothing is more uh, cool than a uh, game where you don't know where to spend your uh, currency at first. I really dig that. Okay, so we don't have too much what we could have done there. Could have slept there, I think. Damn. Craven Chef, um, Stumble, Hero Gains Food, Lee, Run Away, or Attack if he draws two diamonds, versus the Angry Bull. Well, the Angry Bull is just a, uh, just a burst matchup. Ah, here's their, uh, combat pattern, I see. Yeah, well, we'll take the Craven Chef. I'd love to have another weapon for that dude. Well, it's just a uh, it's just a twelve attack. Uh, that's pretty low, actually. So let's see. Great stuff. I was hoping that he'd flee. I mean, that was uh, it's actually the uh, a, a good outcome. Oh, a traveling merchant! How nice to see you! So, and flame. And flamed items deal damage when they are used. Okay. That's a weird one. I don't find that too appealing to my current strategy. Damn. I mean, most of the time I don't even want the enemy to, uh, to act on me. I'm running low on food as well. So... So here, this is one fun fight. Whenever she has uh, too many cards on her hand, she's uh, or too much numerical value, she's going to do something beneficial for us. So, well... Yeah, let's uh, steal that ace. Just too... Just too good to not do. Just too good to not do. Two hearts. There's no heart on her hand, so there's no risk whatsoever. One heart card on her hand. That's pretty uh, frightening to me. So we're going to disarm that. But there's only a chance of something happening there, but... Uh, oh, was I able to do that? Ah, oh, damn. So, whatever. The face card's 10, ace card 11. Yep, exactly. Sometimes the aces are worthless, that's uh, always a question of uh, the house rules, though. I've seen both, for for sure. So, let's uh, go to the tavern and buy some overpriced food. Thanks, great. Oh, yuck, that's really overpriced. So, we can go for an elite battle there, or, well, let's do this. I'm kind of afraid about that one, but, uh, you know, I have to go for it. So that's guaranteed blow. Not cool. So what to do? I mean, basically, the easiest way would to steal would be to steal the ace, even though I don't need it. But uh, there's still a lot of... Uh, chance there to get above 50, so let's 
Let's re let, let's take that chance away. So I'll steal yet another king here. Yeah. So we can go for another straight attack. And next turn he's down. So I think I'm getting behind the rogue's play style a bit there. It's a very bursty thing, but uh, well, I'd be. I'd be disappointed with the game if the if the rogue wouldn't be a bursty thing. So, oh boy, blackjack. So yeah, ace and uh, there. So there's already two cards that would be would be making up blackjack. That sucks, doesn't it? So let's go for some big fat card brawl. Why not? Oh yeah, here, here, here. This is extra much damage if the, if the uh, if both cards in the straight are hearts. So there we go. Super powerful attack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to steal away his king. So there was an ace. Good thing that I did that. The this is the simplest solution for that problem. So as as long as there's uh, well here. You're right about that, you're in this situation is way more dangerous than the per than the one before. Here there's a way higher chance that these are there's four options and there the other time it was just one one option. I'll take that off of you, my friend. I don't want to get whacked by that. Was unnecessary, but uh well. I mean technically there's a, now a chance of uh blackjack even here, but well. What ifs? So here, well, there's either an ace or there's no ace. There's not much I can do about that. Alright, good thing. Good thing we took that fight without a scratch. I like that. So I got a fairly nice amount of money. I'll take the extra amount of cards drawn. Because I personally feel like this is uh, probably one of the most important metrics on that character. The more cards I have, the better. So five red cards, attack and heal. Oh yeah, the Phoenix has that inflame thing going on for himself. What a bummer. But uh, the good thing about that is we have a... Uh, we can steal ourselves some hearts and uh, yeah, one point of damage. Okay then. So uh, we have to kill it twice, eh? Hey? There's a pretty high chance of that thing detonating into my face there, so uh, we're going to take away one of those red cards just uh, just to be sure, you know. It was a wise choice. So. Um, able to do something here, so let's steal away that king. There we go. Oh, darn, that was unlucky. Foreseeable, but uh, still quite unlucky. So that's uh, pretty terrible, too. Yeah. Kind of like foresaw that, but what a ah, I could have stolen more cards that would have worked too. Damn. All right. Good thing when I do realize what went wrong in hindsight, at least you know. Oh, I'm out of energy anyway, so I couldn't have done anything. I was wrong about the impression that I was able to do something about that. I really want to finish off that dude this turn, so let's do this. I think I didn't need to draw a card there. Whoopsie. Well. So, let's buy some food. Another knife. Yeah, why not? I mean, this is... Uh, I think this was maybe one of the biggest mistakes of mine so far. That I didn't buy enough items. Didn't force... The buying of items hard enough, however you want to put it. So, four red cards. Yeah, dude. That's a little bit, uh... Whatever. So, let's put up a straight. Ow! Oh, I immediately die when that happens. Oh, yuck. Whoopsie! Well, I did an unlock, so we can't check out the mage. 
Let's do that. A lot of fun in that one. I really, really enjoy that. So, the mage got a magic missile on a pair. Can go for wizard sleeves if she has up to three cards. Stash is a place to store cards to use later. Oh boy, cool. Potion of life. Bag of tricks. Cycle up to two cards of your choice, including enemy cards. Nice. You may spend one card energy during your turn in combat to reveal a card. Cool. Alright. Let's go for that. So, start with three random consumables and minus 15 chips. Gain one less energy per wall map movement, but gain one gem each move. Alright. So, nah, I don't want any of these modifiers, thank you. So, Temple of Aces gives me an enhanced Aces right away. Enemies will always try to use the item of the farthest left. Alright, that's a good thing to know. Actually, a witch's hut. You may sacrifice some life for a reward. Now, that's one of the best things to do very, very early on. So, sacrifice for a random item. For gems or for energy. We take the random item, of course. So, uniform helm, block, and it has a cooldown. That's oh, pretty amazing, actually. So, good stuff. I can upgrade my hand size right away. Errant Ghost. Okay, let's do that. So, this is a, in a safe moment. Alright, so, uh, let's see. We can't put that into our wizard sleeves. And, uh... <laughs> So I get to return both of them at once, I see. So... <laughs> that's that's amazing. So if everything goes super bad, I'm going to just go for a bad one. Okay, so we have a uh, Curse 6. Cursed items deal damage when they aren't used. Or when they are cursed again. Alright. Well, dude. Damn. I tried, okay? I tried. But uh, at the end of the day, that wasn't necessary at all. Okay. Well, whatever. Those uh, magic missiles are, are, are twacking, man. So, the Griffin Elite. So... What does stun do? Discard all of the enemy cards, I see. Well. Hill Giant? Yeah, let's try that. So, three cards rank queen or higher. Well. Let's, put, let's just put these into our wizard sleeves. So, rank 10 or higher. So, here I see that we definitely need to cycle something here. Ooh, that's fun. There's a lot of safety in that thing. So, we can go for a pair of 8s. And put the stronger cards into our wizard sleeves, and the rest can be just like it wants to be. So I have the sevens here. Here we have a couple of things, so let's just cycle that away. Problem be gone! Oh, I forgot to use my wizard sleeves. Crap! Oh no! Well, well, well. We are we're going to get this. Um, I could have cycled one of my own cards instead. Mm, whatever. Being a wizard is always a complicated thing, so uh, 
That's okay. I didn't even notice that this was an elite fight and everything, so that's uh, probably a good thing. So what do we have here? The Craven Chef. Yeah, well, why not? So, uh, let's go. So if this guy has red cards, he'll run. Okay. So we'll just put that into our sleeves and uh, see where that'll get us. So. Well. There's sevens for me. Ain't the best thing in the first place, but whatever. I should really try to always keep the maximum amount of items in my sleeves there. Oh, he ran away. Okay. I wonder if you get a better reward if you actually manage to kill that guy off. That's something I keep asking myself. Bungling Burglar. Alright. Stumble. Run away. Thievery. So, okay. No card cost. <laughs> this guy so uh yeah this guy's pretty obnoxious not gonna lie so we're going to uh yeah here we go so now he went on a stumble a run away so ah whenever he goes for a thievery he uh draws one more card in the future i see Yeah, well, due to the fact that I have a uh, a item to to heal myself with or defend myself with, it ain't that much of a big deal. But for now, we just take that blow. So yeah, pair of tins. That's pretty powerful. But we still have to. Oh, wait a sec. He's going to stumble anyways, and I forgot my major sleeves again. This is really something that I need to uh, be more careful about, because there's... Uh... Wait a sec. can use... Why is that not a flush? Ah, it has to be the same suit. Sure, it ain't f straight and flush is a different thing. Yeah, whatever. We're going to uh, we're going to redraw that. Well, that didn't really get us anywhere, eh? But the cards are more powerful, at least. That's why I got a potion of life on this character, I guess. Inhale three black cards. Cough. All right. What a fun little critter. So, three red cards. Mm. So, three black cards. Okay. No, actually, there's no good reason not to do this. So. Hmm. Let's re-roll some of the cheaper ones, and, uh, well, okay. How? Ow! Good god. <laughs> Death store. So, this fella is going to be... blurting stuff on us. Well... We're just going to do this to him. Ha! To no avail. So I don't have any two-card flushes there. Wait a sec. Jake and Ace are working together? Hmm. I didn't expect that, to be fair. Good thing that I tried. So there's really nothing happening here. Oh, well. Yeah, 
yeah, well, that was the wrong turn order. I should have checked out what the, the guy does before I, uh, I give my back of tricks away. So... see well at least I'm able to block some if something bad should happen but that's just another multiplier okay so well I feel like I'm not drawing enough cards to uh, facilitate that play style so let's uh, go for that so the shop would sell me some more food, but right now I'm not down for that. So the diseased rat can poison me on a uh, on a on a pair, and uh, the gremlin. Yeah, we'll take that bite. Okay then. So there's no ah. This guy works with visible cards. That's awesome. So we're going to take that. So the next trick, I'll make your pair disappear and create a new one. I didn't pay attention there, didn't I? Well, whatever. We can we can get ourselves a block together here, but uh, that's not really useful. I uh, I do too many mistakes on this character, honestly, for my taste. That is, but well. It was the same with the rogue. When I picked him up for the first time, I did a uh, really, really bad job. And uh, with the second attempt, I was uh, really a lot better with that. So. Gotta say, this game does feature a lot of very unique um, mechanics there. And I thought I put these into the sleeves. All right. That wizard sleeves thing is pretty cool, but it's also quite uh, cumbersome when you're new to the game, at least. But uh, whatever. I'm dead next turn, so. I'm trying to get myself some uh, amount of block together that will give me a chance to not die. I would have needed to take things into my sleeves again there, so yeah. Okay, well, I don't know if I really do like the mage too much as a uh, newcomer here. Enhanced diamonds. There is no in here. Oh boy. I mean, I had that several times in the past already that uh, with games like these, you really have to go through a learning curve. Find out what's really important to be powerful and the like. And uh, that's perfectly uh, nice. I, I love it when games have easily approachable character classes and things that uh, are a lot harder to tackle. Pretty good. So. Let's see. Oh boy. I do have a lot of... Uh, Whacking here. So, wow. So darn lucky this time. I mean, that's the fun thing about the mage. It, uh, sometimes it's just not coming together at all, and sometimes I'm just blasting the dudes. Like, uh. So, two cards strayed. Oh, flushed as, uh. They don't have to be in the uh, same order, though. I have to memorize that better. Well, okay. We're, we're getting there. One thing at a time. So. There we go. Considering my newbiness in this game, I'm really, uh, I'm really pleased to see where where this uh, where this goes. The longer I play it, all right. I I really didn't play around the uniform helm um, properly before. Okay, we get in there now. 
So far, the mage is one one of the classes that I I don't know. Sometimes I start to hate her, and uh, sometimes I totally love that card. Oh, well, that's pretty interesting. That's really interesting. So, mm -hmm. well, we can use some reveal. So, I'll trick away these cards here. So there we go. Didn't really make the situation better, didn't it? Damn. The thing there is, if this thing um, goes into uh, into action, I think I'll pretty much instantly die. So uh, we have to uh, do whatever we can to keep those uh, values as low as possible, I'd say. And here, again, nothing really comes together, you know? any pairs, we don't have anything that works out, and, uh, right now, I'm basically using my backup tricks here mostly to try to, uh, press the enemy's actions, uh, or action points as low as possible. I mean, if I get to attack one more time, I, I win this in some way, so let's see. All right. The moment it is unlocked, a moment it can, and the same moment it can be cast. I was already wondering how this, uh, how this is supposed to work. Okay, fun. So uh, we're going to go for another go for the mage, I think. Now that I start to understand how things work, I mean, I could be also playing upgrades mode, where you get a lot of. Uh, things here to uh, to make the game easier with, but I'm not a big fan of these things, you know. I'd rather learn how the game works properly and decently, and don't rely on roguelite elements. But what I totally adore about this decision, these devs did the perfect choice. People who love the roguelite mechanics can grind the game to get to become more easier and easier for them, whereas uh, tryhard uh, people like me we can go for a classic mode and uh, opt out of these roguelite elements. Kudos to that. I haven't seen it done that well in a while. Seriously, that's a great, great way of solving the dilemma of roguelite versus roguelike. Well done. Gotta say. This way, I can choose for myself. I like that. So, gain energy less... No, 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 no. When you gain any amount of life, you gain energy. When you lose any amount of life, you lose energy. Um, no thanks. I'm, uh, I'm too noob to enjoy those modifiers. Thank you. So, Lightning Rat can do its thing when it's, uh, on pairs. Michael Fitch, hi there. I find this the fairest way of dealing with that uh, endless dilemma that roguelikes uh, just uh, have to deal with since the beginning of time, so to say, you know. So. You don't have a pair. So we put these in our sleeves and uh, we destroy... <laughs> okay. I created a triple. Well done. Um, yeah, sometimes you just cannot change it. Ow! 30 HP, come on, dude. No reason to ju to fry me like that. So, let's, uh, roll away these things. That's been very, very unfortunate. Speaking about unfortunate, well, I should pop some, uh, some of my gemstones here. Thought that would be an option. Ah oh, well, I have so many cards on my hand right now. At least one pair that comes in handy there. Wonderful. Because I'm really tired of getting zapped by this rat. There we go. Really want to kill off that thing. ASAP. There we go. Alright, more cards. Wizard's Tower, well, no thanks. Mm, pile of food, yes please. Yum. What do we have here? Peacock, one card, rank 10 or higher, attack. Uh, yeah, right now. Thug, ah yeah, the Blackjack group. Let's go for the Blackjack group. 
that everything will work out fine. So the thug has its blackjack on its hand to begin with. Disgusting. Oh wait a sec, we, we take all the cards. There's no good reason not to do so. So uh shoo shoo. Yeah well there's still a chance of that being a blackjack, but I'll take that because I I don't have any uh, feasible options to stop him from twacking me if it even if it was. So All right. Whenever there's invisible a visible ace on his hand, that's very dangerous. But uh, if not, well, I don't mind him too much. There we go. Oh boy. Bam. I hate that guy. So let's use her back of tricks for two things here. Uh, I gave him an ace. Good job. I didn't pay attention at all. I was able to kill off that guy already. Okay. I love it to some degree that I see so many uh, mistakes out of inexperiencedness. You know, that's pretty cool. This gives me the impression that there's still a lot to learn down the road, you know. So. Giant Rad. So. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right. Back of Tricks is an awesome card, though. You know, you can do so much uh, heavy uh, manipulation on the enemy's side there. And it's a very uh, flexible thing at the same time, but uh, sometimes it just lets you down, you know. I can't do anything here. That sucks. So let's uh, try to at least give that critter some magic missile into the face if I'm if I have to suffer damage even try after trying to avert it, I at least want to be able to try that thing as quick as possible. So the dealer. Any cards adding to at least 17. Alright. Draw a card. Lose 14 HP if he... yeah, right. So this guy... this is a blackjack fight, you know. We're going to go towards the Hill Giant nevertheless, because I find the Hill Giant's suite is way easier counterable with my measures. You know, the Bag of Tricks is a wonderful way of just uh, ensuring that this guy just still... okay, that was damn dangerous. Alright, so here we go. Bam! Back of tricks. And uh, it didn't work at all. Damn. Sometimes you just can't help yourself. And uh... So I'm dead -o. That's a little bit sad. What a weird way of dying. But, uh, well. I think I should have used my food on the, on the map. Instead of uh, going low HP into there. Kinder hören wieder wunderbar auf dich, ne? <lacht> Leise sein geht alles. So, don't mind the German words if you understand them, just keep them, and uh, we're going to retry that. I mean, failure at least comes uh, very, very quickly, and uh, let's see. Elite battle. All right. So, obviously, the Elite versions of battles are quite much the same, but the big difference there is that you, um, that they have more HP and their attacks are souped up, but the mechanics remain the same. So, let's check out his cards. There's nothing to be worried about. Excellent. So... Five black cards or four black cards. Under these circumstances, I, I love the mage's ability to just look on the enemy's uh, hand. I find that damn useful. Though there is no chance of black cards occurring here in the larger uh, number. So let's do this. There we go. 
big fat magic missile, as fat as it can be. Here there is also no possibility of my enemy drawing anything he'd require, so I'll use the bag of tricks for myself. Oh boy. Sweet. So we're going to keep these. But, uh, well, this guy would now be able to do something to us, but, uh, well. This time, things went down super smooth, you know? Flea market. Trading post where you can can barter for it, for stuff, alright? Troll casino. Hmm. Goblin. Works with straights. Deals a lot of damage. The gremlin. I'll take the gremlin. Hey, Failing Adam, welcome. Happy to see you, mate. Hope you're having a great day so far. So, seven black cards. That's not even possible at the very moment right now. That's interesting. Okay, so I'll put that card into my sleeve. Why? Because I am able to use it later on. So, let's check it out. Uh, well, three red cards. We don't want that. So we're going to use the bag of tricks to roll away. <laughs> Thank you. Well, whatever. So at that point now, he's going to be able to steal stuff from me. But, uh, well, that's only the beginning of it. So. Annoying little critter. So let's try to take away his uh, redness and, uh, oh, I made him flee. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. I have enough food, I guess. So, well, let's, let's go down the road with chips there. following the breadcrumb road. So, oh gosh, I hate the phoenix. What I do realize, though, um, what's really cool is that the upgrade of vision range really is a meaningful thing. What am I doing here? That's stupid. So we're going to use the back of tricks on these thingies here. Yeah, look at that. Powerful cards now. So this is almost a guaranteed five red cards thing, but uh, it actually ain't, you know. So let's trick back this. Oh, come on, game. Why are you doing this to me? All right. Finally, some damage, you know. All right. It's impossible to have five red cards on that hand, so... Go, we got that dude rebirthed. So I'll take that uh, pair here, just so it doesn't go bad later. 16 damage, and that's all I take. Wonderful, that went down way better than I thought. Okay. Ogre. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, ATS is a great game. Well, Factorio stuff will be done on Thursday again, so if you are down for a bad, check it out. So, three cards rank 10 or higher. Well, we use our wizardness to, uh, to mix up things here. There we go. Spending your energy is damn important for this class. That's one thing that I totally realized. So we ain't have anything here to work with. That's sad. Okay. So same thing here. There's only one rank 10 card. Sure, I could now uh, take a look on the enemy hand. That would be also surely smarter. Let's see, but there was nothing. So this is a situation where I feel like I should really take a look. There we go. So. 
Let's roll away these and uh, cry a river for not getting anything to work with. You know what? I got so many gems. Let's uh, try my luck there. Hell yeah. Bam! 44 damage. That's what I'm talking about. So here's no card higher than 10, so I don't need to worry at all about that. There we go. Brilliant. So I could now increase the amount of cards drawn, but I find that not too appealing considering that I'm entering the castle any moment too soon. So, uh, there we go. Dude works with pairs, so we're going to re-roll a couple of cards. This is always a double-edged sword, because with the... Uh, with pairs, you know, there is always a, a, a certain chance that I'm just uh, giving that guy just the pair that he requires, but, uh, you know, there's always some, some kind of risk involved. So, there's an 8 here. That we don't want to have. So, we trick back that 8 away, and I'll trick back my own 4 away. So, lucky me, I didn't uh, mess up myself there. So here's a pair of nines. Let's see if we can mess that up. Bam! Right on. There we go. So far, I gotta say, this game feels damn amazing. It's easy to pick up. Everything is well documented. Every character class feels very, very uh, distinct from one another. There are very different game styles. And with the way that everything is strung up here, I see a lot of uh, positive future here. I really do love what I see, what I do there. So, let's see. Any five clubs draw a card. Mm hmm. Firestorm. Mm hmm. Orderly helm. Any two cards strayed blocks. So I think a block item is pretty useful, especially for scrubs like me. Let's see, I don't have much money left. I would have loved to upgrade something, but honestly, upgrading the bag of tricks for my last couple of chips is possibly the best thing that I could do right now. So learn scouting. Okay, I'll learn that for free. I'll take it. So shop without any money in my pocket is pretty useless. Let's do this here, the farmer. Oh, wait a sec, I don't have any chips. I thought I'd get any chips. No! Crap, I'm so stupid. Ah, whatever. Yeah, the travelers. Uh, resource selling. Great. Rub it in hotter, game. Rub it in hotter. Thank you. So, one card, rank 10 or higher. So, um, we're going to trick back that whole thing here. Good. Ow! Crap! Now well, that's super scary, dude. So first off, let's uh, twack that thing. But now let's just do this. Ah, oh, amazing. Alright, so... Uh, there's two attacks of that kind coming on in. Too bad. I was uh, considering to use the orderly helm for that, but, uh, well, maybe I'll still have to. Yeah, I do. So, these are straight, gives me a 19 block, and we put these into the sleeves and kill off the guy next turn. That's why I wanted to have a block, it makes you more, um, it makes your entire gameplay more flexible and your, uh, way harder to uh, get punched down, way harder to punch you down that easily. <laughs> right, on death, tons of chips, dodge five. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's see, that thing doesn't have an ace on its hand. It draws four cards each turn, so uh, well,
I don't think that this character has a uh, really good chance of uh, getting the job done there. But on the other hand, I am well able to, uh, to stop him from running away for a while, you know? Okay. So still no attack available. There we go. Gotta say, I find that the mage is uh, probably one of the best fits for this uh, particular task, due to the fact that he's uh, just very good at uh, or seeing the runaway move of that thing. And, uh, you know, I can quite simply just nope that out. Oh. There's a limit to that, so now I invested a lot of resource into nothing. Whatever! It's okay, it was fun. Alright, so... Yule doesn't have any card costs, so I am totally unable to uh, stop that thing from doing what it's supposed to do. Pointy tool, alright. Any cards adding to at least plus 10. Now oh, that's really, really sucky. So, got ourselves out of that misery for a moment. It's not a long-term solution, though. That guy will not stop being like that. But, uh, you know. So, tech 11. Well, I do have options to just block that, so I do. I don't need to spend my energy for something like that, you know. Yeah, this is what I want to see. Perfect. So, the guy will blow him up, will blow himself up now. Boom. Hooray! I win quite easily. So, let's go for the thug because he has meat for me. Lumito. Okay. So, well. Sheesh, that's horrible. Start hand. That's better. At least those will smack quite hard. So, well. Let's see. Oh boy, good thing that I checked. Let's try and take away his ace. I I, I think this is the highest chance of uh, defusing this guy in the first place. Because without aces, there's no attack incoming. So we can put that into our sleeves. There we go. So here, technically, there is a chance of me getting attacked, but practically, I'll take that risk because you know, he'd have he'd have to have a an ace and a card above uh, above ten in his hand there, and uh, that's I find that so unlikely that I'll take that risk. Same situation here. Kind of a calculated risk though because there's always the chance of this backfiring into my face here for example he had an ace on his hand so that would have uh went into my face so i have three more um food available a elite lion oh too bad man so one card rank four or lower return or cards used to your hand okay I don't quite get how this guy is supposed to work, but uh, we'll find out. So, I think I can put all the bees into my sleeves. And we just, uh, we just do that and let him do nothing at all. Hey, how about that? So... Those go into the sleeves, these go into his face. 
So the mechanic here is he's going to draw cards and then there's a chance when he has uh Okay, yeah. If possible, he'll attack afterwards. I see. Wow. We got ourselves some bountiful hand there, but, uh, okay. Wow. I wish I would have such good cards every uh, time I fight critters, man. Oh boy. We were able to uh, magic missile away the whole fight long. <laughs> Okay, let's go for the let's go for the Craven Chef. There's uh or wait a sec. No, I need the bear, otherwise I'll starve. Okay. Beautiful. Let's start with a uh, magic missile. Oh yeah, cool. Can just uh see if that guy is uh, going to go for an attack or not. I like that. So we're going to... Yeah, well, we're going to do this like that. <laughs> oh, no. No! Like this! So what we're going to try here is... Uh, I want to see... If I can't bring up... Yeah, here we go. You know, at least block a portion of it. If I have to suffer through that, at least I want to block a portion of it. So let's draw a few cards and put them into my sleeves. Hey, look! It's a super weak combo attack. Alright, so there's 46 on the enemy side. We'll just uh, try something like that. Here we go. That's working out quite nicely. So that's a total value of 55. That sucks. So it can only get better when we uh, take away his highest ranking cards and re-roll them, basically. Oh, I win already. Damn. Nice. Okay, so... Uh, let's head on over to the blacksmith. Let's see. So, two or three of a kind. So, I'm able to upgrade this like that. Alright. The wizard sleeves give me the ability to store even more cards. Alright. So, I'll upgrade this and I'll upgrade that. There we go. I mean, a three of a kind doesn't happen that often. Or I haven't had too often. But nevertheless, I find it a very appealing uh, thing in the first place. Oh, there we go. That's a completely harmless hand on the enemy's side. Alright, now well, that's pretty beastly. Okay, let's put up one. Nah. Ah, just like I thought. Mm. Let's put this down like that. Alright, defused. Okay. Oh, well, tell you what, we're going to back off trick that. So we at least get to use a uh, small scale attack here. So lock is only lasting for a turn, so we're just going to ignore that for a while, for a moment. So I'll keep those in my sleeves for now. Yeah, well, one day he'll not block. For sure. Ugh. Guy's pissing me off. The thing is, uh, 
If I hit him now, I won't gain anything out of that. So... Yeah, well done, mate. That's exactly what we didn't want to see here. Oh, crap. No, no, I gave away my cards. I'm playing like a noob. No. Right, the other time I had those poison cards, uh, that poison item on my hand, that was a priceless moment, not to be, not gonna lie. That was uh, so much better than anything I had before. There we go, that's how I should use it. So. There we go. I was just, like, taking the risk because my energy is darn low already. There's just not much that I can do right there anymore. So there's a very high chance of getting attacked here. But, uh, well... Okay, whatever. I don't mind it. <laughs> 4 H 4, 4 XP left from level 4. Whatever. That's been a blast. I, uh, I'm going to unpretzel my brain now off camera a bit. I thank you all for the jolly good time. This is uh, really more fun than I anticipated in the first place. I hope you enjoyed as well. Check out the description box if you missed the stream. There's Discord and Twitter where I announce all the stuff before it happens and you just gotta check those out. Also feel free to subscribe and do the bell thing and let YouTube do the notifying for you if that's more your kind of thing. Also, leave a thumbs up or a comment on that one. I'd be really, really appreciating that. Also, last but not least, there's support links down there. There's Patreon, Paypal, and Buy Me Coffee as ways and means to support this channel. And I'd be delighted if you'd give them a look. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And I hope you're going to tune on in soon again. See you there. Bye-bye.